Columbia, South Carolina, get your together. All my boo boos, you should already have your hair done by now. All the real you already had that fit put together. It's going down, man. It's against the party tonight. Colonial Life Arena, man. We live in the morning. Met me and several others. And then got more night. Charleston, South Carolina. Y'all get the ready. Y'all still got a day to get your outfits together, get your hair done. All my boo boos, I want to see y'all out there I'm going crazy. Uh, North Charleston Coliseum tomorrow. Colonial Life Arena uh, in, in Columbia, South Carolina tonight. I'm on the way to the mother met right now. I'm jumping on 77 right now. I can't wait to see y'all. I'm telling you. I see the Mets. You know how we get this Carolina. Y'all already know how we get down. Y'all knew how we got down before the other how we got. You see what I'm saying? So come on, let, let, let's get with it. Let's get with it, man. I see y'all in a minute, man. You know, it ain't no but a but an hour away, 50 minutes if I'm driving. I'm gonna tell y'all real little too. I gotta tell y'all. Okay, so check it. Look, that same concert that the baby was talking about in that video right there, a situation ended up occurring where he got into an altercation with a BDB ENT member. Yes. That's what I said. Friendly fire. He had friendly fire going on. He pretty much, you know, socked out one of his partners. You know what I'm saying? As far as the extent of the situation and how it actually occurred, we do not know. But what we do know is this man, the baby, pretty much has been wild in here lately. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, before we keep going, go ahead and wipe your feet as you come in the door. Drop a like, drop a subscribe. Ring that bell icon, turn post notifications on to all. That way you'll be notified every time we drop a video. Now, the way you turn post notifications on to all is hitting that bell icon and then scrolling up to all. Make sure you do that. You know, we got a lot of people on here who say that they ain't been getting the videos. Well, that's a way to most definitely help. You know, otherwise YouTube might unsubscribe you. But if you do, we always post daily, multiple times a day. So just come back in here and check it out. And also go ahead and drop a comment and a share that way this video will be recommended to a lot more people like i said i need your help family to help grow the channel everybody keep asking why they sleeping on us well that's a part of the reason man y'all don't want to drop a comment or a share or like the videos you know you got to make that happen youtube will recognize that in the algorithm and go ahead and promote us now if y'all already did that let's continue to go on now the baby like i said man had those antics going on pretty much did that at a concert and there was a lot of people recording why were they backstage recording at that time i mean i guess you could say it's fans or whatever man just a troubling time for me to be recording but y'all go ahead and check this out man i did have to mark it out but here Like I said, I did have to go ahead and mark that out because YouTube is going to flag us. They flagged us the last time we put up the baby situation in the bowling alley. So yeah, man, it's all crazy. But like I said, man, this is all for antics. That's all it is. A way to keep the buzz going. That uh, Rolling Loud concert where he said those situations, that kind of destroyed his image. So the baby went back to the basics and what helped him blow up in the first place. Y'all remember the Walmart situation where he clapped dude down in the Walmart and also when he beat up the dude at the mall, that's what helped him pop off. You know what I'm saying? As well as the diaper situation too, but all of those antics helped his music get exposure. So he's going back to the basics and trying to rewrite that so he can stay within the headlines. Now, if y'all keep seeing this, y'all notice y'all keep seeing this two finger situation. And the two finger, in my opinion, represents this is the second person that I clapped down in the media he keeps on putting that out there well not in this situation but we know that he just clapped somebody down made a 911 call pretty much hit up a fan who was coming to his house basically trying to see the baby and he let it be known like look dude is out here in my yard and uh i had to go ahead and do what i had to do you know what i'm saying which you know you got to protect yourself so you really can't pretty much blame him for that but what you can say is man a lot of these situations seems like they are being done for clout 
which like i said is nothing wrong with that all artists do it but uh he's trying to figure out a way to get up out of that black ball that he's in and i'm telling y'all if y'all don't believe that it's for clout i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a few things but i'm sure i'm more than positive that the two fingers stand for the second person that he clapped down man and this is all for entertainment purposes everything that he's doing is all to keep some buzz popping around his name of course he always gonna have a buzz because he's such a big of artist and he has 28 million instagram followers so anything he drops is going to get exposure to a lot of people but to keep his name rising to keep his money earnings as high as they are at his peak he's trying to keep his name in the media and watch him go ahead and drop new music right after this situation happened but i'm gonna play that 911 call so it can go ahead and push everything together because the 911 call overall kind of seemed like it was orchestrated like it, it was planned out like it was acting or whatever i don't know man but y'all let me know what y'all think i'm gonna play that call i'm sure y'all probably already heard it before but i want to refresh on y'all memory and bring it back to y'all attention before we say what else we finna say and then close it all off you feel me so what did you do uh, i shot him in his leg okay and why did you do he that passing he kept passing on my property, calling me by my name. I don't know what he's doing for it. When I say I'm trying to explain to y'all that the two fingers stand for the two people pop down, he keeps doing it after every video now. He never used to do that. Y'all check this out. I'm for real. Two, man. Two. Am I lying, bro? Two, you see me? Hey. Two, man. I'm trying to explain to y'all that he's saying that two for two people I hit up, you know, and that's all for attention and clout. And you can tell by this post that he put up as well. He put out the paid and full scene where, you know, that man Ace got hit up and Cameron, I can't remember the character that he played, but y'all know who I'm talking about. The rat Rico, he where Rico said, you're going to be all right. You know, basically like dudes get hit up every day. And in the caption, he captioned that post chose not to take dual life the other day and it felt great but he ain't deserved to go i step righteously heal up and live my boy just don't bring yo butt back with the explosion mode now that's what i'm saying man he's garnering attention for himself you see the one million views on that he's getting multiple views off of this so he's gonna keep feeding it he's gonna keep feeding that whole little zeman he's gonna keep feeding it and making it grow and that's what this antic is as well it is a way to feed that zeman that's what happened with the cam cohort situation right after he hit up the guy in the mall first he did the diaper situation hit up somebody in the mall and then the cam cohort situation and that had everybody like wow baby's a stepper you know the baby be stepping you know what i'm saying he ain't playing y'all better quit pushing up on him he ain't no regular rap dude don't play with him and i'm not saying the baby is a bust or anything don't get that twisted but what i'm trying to explain to y'all is that this is all for attention all this stuff might be staged because if i wish i could play the actual video on here but y'all can go find it all over instagram i'm sure some other page has posted it on here for some reason youtube don't like me and they don't like when i post stuff like that man so they'll give us a flag and y'all know man we'll be sitting out from the sidelines watching everybody do what they do now i did uh get rid of two strikes on the channel the warning strike and the second strike so you know uh if i get another strike i won't actually be deleted no more but we will be blocked from posting for two weeks i do got one more strike on the channel and that strike ends next month so i'm trying to you know be good and try not to post these things man even though i want to get in here and vibe with y'all and integrate all the situations as best as possible and give y'all the content that y'all come for but you know i gotta mark a lot of stuff out man youtube on some sucker stuff so that's why i tell y'all to go subscribe to the instagram because that helps us stay connected now the instagram is all facts king ko all lowercase literally the reverse of the way the channel was spelled but lowercase so y'all go check that out man it's more content on there that's a lot more diverse so yeah y'all go check that out and tap in with me i respond to everything hit me in the dms that's the way we can talk negotiate you know anything y'all need promoted or anything like that now like i said man this right here is literally for attention that's all he doing is attention grabbing 
like I said, once again, he's not a buster. So don't get that in the comment section and say that. But what I'm saying is the baby is not moving and rocking like this. Ain't no man out here in the media moving and rocking like this. Well, I mean, that's that's a part of his image to be the outlaw in the industry. You know what I'm saying? The outlaw who blew up. This is all to help bolster his image, all to help feed that Zeman. And I'm sure the guy that was in the video was a part of the situation. That guy knew that the baby was going to come down that way and swing at him. If you pay attention, the baby kind of stepped in front of him and then turned around and threw two little blows and didn't really connect them. It seemed like it was just acting. It seemed like movie scene or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we didn't actually see no bodies whenever he made the 911 call. That's all we knew was knew about was the 911 call. But I'm sure the baby had cameras and all this different stuff. And who is the one who exposed the 911 call? That's what I'm trying to get. Who was the one that was like, okay, let me record this now. Of course, they already recorded. They tell you that it's recorded. But who was the one that leaked it? Who was the one that sent it to TMZ or whoever got it first? And uh, was like, yeah, man, you know, the baby calling, you know, 911 and made this whole phone call. Who recorded that? You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that the operator didn't leak that. I'm sure that it was the baby that did it. Y'all got to use y'all heads to understand what's going on here. Y'all are being bamboozled. And I'm not saying that he's fake. I'm saying y'all are being bamboozled by an image to keep saying that this man is somebody who is a stepper and don't play with him because he a gangster. You know what I'm saying? No man should be played with, first off. But hey, man, all I'm saying overall is this is just another way to attention grab. You feel me? But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this. That's most definitely my thoughts. And with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell icon, turn post notifications on to all. That way you'll be notified every time we drop a video, as well as drop in a comment. That way this video will be recommended to a lot more people. Share the video if you're really rocking with the gang. And y'all already know. Peace and blessings, kings and queens. I will be back. We got a whole bolster of stuff that has been going on. So make sure you tap back in. And with that being said, I'm out. Believe it.